quick video on ideal gas unit conversions catches students out all the time so we'll start with um, pressure so if you've got one kilopascal and you want to put it into pascals you multiply by a thousand so going the other way pascals to kilopascals you divide by a thousand Moving on to volume, so I always start with dm cubed. If you've got one dm cubed and you want to put it into cm cubed, you've got a thousand centimeters cubed. So if you're going from meters cubed to decimeters cubed, you multiply by a thousand. If you want to go straight from meters cubed to centimeters cubed, so like that, you multiply by a million, 10 to the six. So go the other way now, cm cubed to dm cubed, divide by a thousand and dm cubed to meters cubed divide by a thousand and again if you want to go all the way from cm cubed to meters cubed you divide by a million so divide by 10 to the 6 or multiply by 10 to the minus 6. okay last one um temperature so if you're on zero kelvin absolute zero but you need to put it into degree c you subtract 273. So zero Kelvin is minus 273 degrees C. If you go on the other way, so if you're on zero degrees C, you want to put it into Kelvin, you add 273. Okay, so we'll just finish by saying what the units are for the ideal gas equation. So the unit of pressure in the ideal gas equation is Pascals. The unit of volume is meters cubed and the unit of temperature is Kelvin. Hope that was helpful.